Hey, what's up guys, Phil here, and this is a review of the Bava Portable SSD Touch. You'll receive the SSD, 12-inch USB-C to USB-C cable, 12-inch USB-A to USB-C cable, and a drawstring carrying bag. This is the drive. It measures about 4 inches long by 1 and 1 8 inch wide, and is just over a quarter inch thick. On one side is a USB-C port which fits either of the included cables. The housing has a brushed aluminum finish on the front and a polished glossy back. The only thing printed on the drive is the brand name, Vava, so there are no markings on the drive to indicate its model or capacity, though the drive is available in 500GB, 1TB, and 2TB capacities, as well as two different colors, gray or blue. Next to the logo is a half inch square fingerprint reader. The SSD weighs under one and a half ounces and has an incredibly small footprint and isn't that much larger than a pack of gum, similar in size to the Amazon Fire TV stick. The carrying case for the drive has a micro suede texture on the outside and a divider sleeve that separates the interior into two sections. That way you can store the drive and the cables separately so you don't scratch up the finish on the housing. Both cables and the drive fit into the pouch neatly, and the drawstring can be pulled tight and tied so nothing falls out. While my unit didn't come with any instructions, the unit is basically plug and play. Just plug it into your computer or laptop using either of the included USB cables to view the contents of the drive in a file explorer. When the drive is protected, there are two folders on the drive that contain the software for setting up password or fingerprint security for both Mac and Windows. Just run the appropriate one for your system. To set up the password and fingerprint security for this drive, open the Vava SSD Touch software. Enter the settings to activate security mode to set up your password. Select the password you'll remember though, because if you forget it, there's no way to recover the data on the drive, and the only way to use the drive again will be to format and wipe it clean. Let's copy a 4GB file to the drive. You can see that the write speed is pretty fast, averaging about 390 megabytes per second. Copying the same file from the drive takes only about 8 seconds, so pretty close to the 540 megabytes per second advertised speed. Now, when you unplug and plug in the drive, it's protected. To access the contents and the settings, you'll have to enter the password you just created. And now we can see the file that we copied to it earlier. In addition to a password, you can use the fingerprint reader as the security measure. To add fingerprint data, go to the settings in the software and toggle on fingerprint unlock. Each time you want to change the settings, you'll need to enter the drive's password. Now we can set up a fingerprint. After clicking get started, place one of your fingers on the fingerprint reader of the drive. You'll need to scan the same finger multiple times, so lift and rescan your finger in different positions as directed in the software. After about 5 scans, it should have a full scan. And you can add more fingerprints, for example, one for backup, or if you want to give another trusted user access, like a spouse or coworker, you can save up to 10 fingerprints. You'll also have the option to name the fingerprint data in case you want to revoke access later on. Now, anytime you plug the drive into your computer, you can simply place your finger on the fingerprint scanner and it should unlock within a few seconds without the need to enter a password. This will also work on computers where the Vava Touch software hasn't been installed. Just a quick note about the read and write speeds. When performing speed performance benchmarks using Crystal Disk Mark, I found that USB 3.1 Gen 1 ports had an average performance of around 325 to 340 megabytes per second for read and write. 
while USB 3.1 Gen 2 ports were able to achieve higher speeds of 475 to 485 megabytes per second. So depending on your computer's hardware, the actual speed performance may vary. Also, if you don't want to secure the drive and have to enter a password or scan your fingerprint each time you plug it in, you can turn security mode off, but if you do so, your password will be deleted. However, the fingerprints will be retained, so if you decide to secure the drive later on, you won't have to re-add them, though you will have to create a new password. The other cool thing you can do with this drive is plug it directly into a smartphone with a USB-C port. Then scan your fingerprint when the LED around the scanner lights up to unlock the drive. After scanning my fingerprint, I was able to access the drive's contents and view the secured files on it. However, there's no accompanying app for the drive. It doesn't connect to iOS devices without a USB-C port, and you won't be able to use the password to unlock the SSD. The other thing to be aware of is that the drive gets fairly warm to the touch during operation because it doesn't have any internal cooling mechanism, and high drive temps may cause the drive to reduce read and write speeds on occasion. All in all, I think the drive is really cool. It's small, compact, secure, and fast. The AES 256-bit encryption means your data and personal information on it is safe from hackers in the event that it gets lost or stolen and the fingerprint scanner allows you to share the device with trusted individuals and log in quickly without having to use different passwords or install software or apps on all your devices. I hope you enjoyed this review. You can ask me any questions in the comments. This product is launching on Indiegogo today, so I'll put a link in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and join me next time.